God, and then people need to see the pictures of that to appreciate <laughs> how awful it was. Yeah. To, to where we are now is just yeah. an amazing difference. Yeah, I mean they transformed it. They've they? transformed. Yeah, I was... mean you wouldn't you wouldn't even know it was the same garden no. to be honest. You'd walk around the corner yeah. and you think, where are we? Yeah, <laughs> we often is this do the same actually. Place? We walk in and think we don't live, we don't live here. <laughs> yeah, um, and it's just perfect. It's, it's lovely. Yeah. So we wanted to create something that wasn't just a show garden piece, but it was also transferable into a garden. My husband would love the pool. I mean, he'd be in there all year round. But where they've got all this pebble and planting and then these fabulous stones is really good for the environment. So this is perfect. Two local companies, Michael's a swim pond specialist, his company, we're a landscape specialist, our company. So it was kind of sort of a match made in heaven. I, mean, I come here just to sort of get ideas. It's, it's wonderful. 
beautiful display. You've got so many different types of people that are coming and visiting here. It's something different, it catches the eye as well. I think it's stunning. The millstones with all the dribble water going back into the main pool, very, very effective. And with the marginal planting, it's, it's just stunning. And so true. peaceful, water draws in. We would call it the nostalgic garden because it has got those elements and it's got a swing in there that's, that goes over water. It's got lots of great things in there that should evoke some sort of nostalgic feeling. The good thing about it, I think, you've got those shallow areas where I think you can kind of get nature involved as well. It's quite a lot of variation in size and, and matter. So again, it's good for wildlife. The plants, the way that it's been planted, uh, the, the Walder area around the back as well, different type of plants, very nice. So for me, the, the medals just seeing the finished garden done, seeing the smiles on people's faces, but really I think it will be the most photographed garden here. They've done a, a superb, really, really superb design here. Well, you have a lovely garden, which you enjoy as a family. You spend time in your garden, um, maybe entertaining people. And over time, the garden will start a little bit frayed, weeds start to come through, things might become a bit loose. And we are here to offer you a service to keep your garden maintained so you can enjoy it how it is first installed. We'll give your garden a full service, an MOT. So we'll go around every nook and cranny and we'll do the bits and pieces for you. I'm currently on an aftercare visit at a customer's house. So we've gone around, we does some weeding. We've gone around with the jet wash and also we've gone around all, got leaf blown, all the areas, got any leaves, um, any debris, which are collected up over a course of time. And also we've cleaned the drains as well. And I don't know if you can see just behind me, but there's an artificial lawn. So we use a brush to plump up the artificial lawn. If you've gone on a holiday, you're abroad somewhere, oh, I've got a garden, I've got some weeds needed, I've got this and that. How great when you use garden design aftercare. We've been to your house while you're on holiday and we've taken that care for you. So um, as a part of, of the aftercare service, you going around, check the weeds, check for like weeds pop, popping through. You get a lot of um, airborne seeds dropping out of the sky, drop of, no, dropping from the wind. Seeds land down onto your stones and they work the way down, down to the, um, the fabric, which is below the stones. And so the roots are very shallow, um, so it's easy to pull out. And it's, and it's just like, it's a bit of an unsightly mess really, You've got a lot of weeds popping through, um, so that's what we offer. So sometimes on artificial lawns, edges come up, so we're going to refix really this now with glue. Um, so making sure the bed is clean and free of debris, quick blow. They've got to just comply this, this lawn glue, just long here. Making sure you've got a clean surface. There's no grit and there's nothing. Work my way along. Push it down. And what I have here is a, um, a carpet gripper. Or a, we use carpet. It's, Quick tap on the knee, push it to the uh, edge of the blocks, and by doing so, you're applying pressure onto the glue as well as kneeing the um, artificial lawn to the block edge. So, and this is one of the things uh, we cover in the aftercare packaging.
going to pressure wash um, the upper area, as you see behind me. So we've got like a, like a block border around the artificial lawn. So we're going to pressure wash that down, we're going to work our way around, we're going to pressure wash around the hot tub, as you see in the background, just to my right. The pressure wash all that, so all this top there is done, which then leaves me um, using the rotary brush to brush the lawn, the artificial lawn, just plump it up um, to give it an extra bit of life within the, uh, the fabric of the lawn and make it look like brand new again. So once it's all done, I then work down here, so I'll pressure wash all the patios, work my way around. Then once it's all pressure washed, I shall go around um, lifting all the, um, the drain lids, all the ACO lids as we call them, and I shall clean them out with a hose pipe, scrape out any rubbish, give another rinse, put the lids back down, final, final little uh, wash over the hose pipe, and that's it. And, and this just, it just prevents blockages. Yeah, and this is one of the things we also cover with the other care service. So pressure washing, brushing the lawns, cleaning the drains to, to prevent future problems. So I'm at a customer's house and one of the jobs we have on at the moment is cleaning the ACOs. People call them drains, um, but the, name, the actual name is ACOs. So this is what they look like from the top and they sit in like a drain with inside your, your patio. And the way he's did is collect all the surface water, but the idea is collect water, collect like silt, collect leaves and over time, if they're not maintained regularly, on an often basis, um, you're gonna get blockages. And so this is one service we offer. We clean your drains for you. We take the lids off, as you can see, and we go along with a brush. We brush all the bulk, all the silt, all the mess away. We, we, bulk, we sweep it into a pile, and we dispose that of the pile um, at the unit or inappropriate bin. And once it's all clean, uh, we then just, I then rinse it down with water. There any like tiny little bit like um, dusty little particles left to make it like brand new again. And by doing so, I know it's gonna be a clean drain and you're not gonna get blockage in the future. You're not gonna get smells or unsightly leaves. Um, you're left a nice clear drain. As you can see, there are a lot of there's bits of grout, bits of dirt around here, around the, around the handles. So here we go, I'm gonna to attempt to uh, take this out. And uh, here it goes. Ah, see, go red to the face, that's how difficult it is. So imagine now, if you've got a blockage, and you've got to contend with this, this can be quite difficult. So here we go. Wow, and as you can see around here, I'm going to try and, not, try and grab this piece. This is a piece here which is stopping the lid coming out. And also around here as well, also on this side of the lid, there's also bits and pieces. So I'm going to clean this now, I'm going to clean it inside, inside the manhole just here. Also, it's worth checking within, within the Solomon hole if there's any cement which might cause blockages. Um, in this case, we're good. We're good to go. So I'm going to sweep this up now. So I'm going to wash the lid and uh, just go around maintaining all the edges, make sure it's all free from dirt, grout. As you can see, that's nice and clean now. And also I'm going to go to the extent of cleaning the handle housing unit as well. So it's all a lot of dirt, you see, all dirt splashing out here. On this side. 
So I'm going to use my screwdriver, clean around. Because once you finish your, your, um, your maintenance on your, your drains, you want to put the, uh, the lid back and the, you're going to want to put your handles down. And so you want to be assured that there's no debris. It's going to keep your handles being proud, sticking up. And not only your handles, but your covers, your covers, um, covering your handles they're not gonna stick up either. So it's important to clean all around these areas. So when you have finished maintaining your, your drain, it's all clear. Now I'm gonna demonstrate what it's like without the debris. There you go. Handle's nice and free, easy. So if you have got a blockage, and you want to get to this manhole cover fast to clear the blockage, pull it straight out, and you've got no debris, nothing holding it back, nothing holding it down. Um, and the reason why it's so easy to lift out is because we maintained it for you. So uh, we're looking after you, we're, like, we're looking after your future maintenance. So just by a simple thing like this, there's a lot of time gets overlooked by a lot of people, but it's so important. It's all in the details. Regular maintenance, regular upkeep. It's going to save a lot of heartache in the future. On survey is getting collecting data and information to help us to achieve the goal that we need to at the end of the day that fits within the remit of the garden and the design uh, heights and levels. It's no good at designing a garden that doesn't fit. The idea is we take the heights and levels and stuff to make sure we can get the end goal effectively. It helps the design process in as much as we can decide whether we can put levels in it. If we can use, use a flat garden then it's often quite easy and quick to do that but obviously with heights and levels it gets more interest to the garden. And if we can utilise the garden itself to achieve that, then it's much better for us and for the client. I did one uh, a couple of days ago, which was a very small garden, a couple of hours, I was in and out. This one, this size, it's taken me two days so far. I've been on one that took three days to complete. So it literally depends on the detail that's already in the garden. So I'll, I'll grid the garden out, which is what I'm doing now, set the pins out every five metres of the pin. And that's set to a tandem point. So from this, boundary out every five meters there's key lines that I'll take that I can see down the garden and I'll just take those points repetitively across the garden to get a height and level through it so we can determine how much the garden slopes away and how much the retaining work we need to do. The aim of this is again it's really to find we start with the house the boundaries and then we mark everything that's in it at the moment we then go through taking zip level points so it's heights and measurements through the whole garden so we've got a complete and accurate survey of the garden. So at the end of the day, we can pull up a 3D model exactly of what the client has at the moment. Then we can determine how that works in relationship to the new design and what they want to achieve. One of the final things we have to do is a checklist. It's just covering just basic points, like whether the building's a in a conservation area, or it's a listed building, obviously all these things relate to how far, what we can do within the garden, and how it's been affected in the rules and regulations of councils and things. But one of them as well is a, is a tree. If you've got a tree protection order on it, there tends to be a root protection order on that as well. So we have just have to measure five metres and a half up, and then we measure the diameter of that, and times that by 12. So within that area now, so 4.2 metres from here. So that length there, we can't actually disturb the ground. So anything that needs to be done in that has to go up. It has to make sure that it drains well and you can still aerate the root system. We can't afford to damage those because of the protection order on that, so with on that. And that's one of the key points that we need to do on the checklist just to make sure that all these things are covered and they don't fall foul of the regulations and the client is, uh, is happy with the, the end job. What we're doing now is just marking everything out. So we take accurate measurements. So we're just marking it all down, so that's 75 mil, so I'll just mark on that, 75. How far that gate comes off, 
which is 50. The overall gate width, which is 12.55. Also go between it to make sure we've got all the details we need. So the post size, that's 100 mil. An actual opening, so it's 12.30. It's important we really know the actual access points for getting kit in and out. Uh, we're just not going to put it up with a, like a dumper that won't fit in the garden and we just waste everybody's time. So we just need to know that uh, the garden is going to be workable and achievable with the kit we've got. Uh, also, with, we're doing all the boundary work and everything. We can determine exact area that we're working in as well. Uh, we've had a couple of clients that have uh, just, pur just purchased properties and they've said that it's like 1.1 acres of land and I was able to tell them they actually got 1.2. So that was a, a quite a positive. One of the other key points is we have to take a north reading. So we'll just uh, find out which way north faces, which in this case is that way, about 85 degrees. Uh, that way we can determine which way the, the sun rises and falls and which way the shadows cast it by the building. So the client can either be in the sun or the shade depending on what their requirements are. This is a bit kit called a zip level. Uh, we use this to take heights and levels throughout the garden. We set a date on point which is a bit of the house, usually two course below the DPC. Uh, and then we've got key points, like end of the steps, each point where there's a different change in level, uh, patios, each tread step, and know, so we know which way the garden's falling and the, well, to run the water. It's important for the customer to know that it's going to be a usable patio and they're not going to get the flooded kitchen. I feel that I've got uh, an outstanding product which has enhanced my home. But more than enhancing my home, it's actually enhanced my life in my home. There was a, an existing much smaller patio and I realised it was actually very unsafe. And I had visions of uh, one of my guests one day doing somersaults backwards down a flight of steps. And uh, that was quite a big motivation for improving things. I initially pr approached several local firms and people came and they looked and they shook their heads and said, far too big a project, we can't do it. And the friend who'd been um, urging me on did a, a trawl on the internet for me. And uh, she found the garden design company. So I rang the company up and said, I doubt very much whether you'll want to do this but this is what I, I'm looking for. And I got a very encouraging response after all of the negativity that I'd had up to that point. As the design evolved, it was good to feel that I, I the customer, really had quite a big input. Even though I have absolutely no design skill or experience, the designers very willingly sort of listened and said, well, no, that won't work, or this will work, and, and, and incorporated what I thought. I've always used the garden as a, a way of chilling out and calming down. I had a very stressful job and it was really good to be able to get out into the garden and to find a, a sense of calm and also a sense of achievement. When you attack a border or an area, you can see what you've done. I tend to eat out here, I tend to sit out here. In fact, in the summer, I'm hardly indoors. In fact, I was so pleased with the back garden project that I then moved on to a front garden project with new walls, a new drive surface and a transformation which has amazed me. I knew that a project of this scale was not going to come cheap so I was quite prepared for, um, for the cost. I really feel I've got value for money. The quality of the work, the professionalism throughout of every member of the company the friendliness and the sheer hard work were second to none. And I get enormous enjoyment out of using my new garden.
I was looking for a sort of low maintenance garden, very modern uh, in appearance, um, but also you know a little bit of a entertainment space. When I was looking at the garden design, I really wanted to serve two purposes. One was great entertainment space where friends and family could come over, enjoy a barbecue or shoot some hoop on the basketball net, but equally a space where you could chill. So what we've been able to do with the design is create a number of smaller spaces in the garden. So one of those is an area that we probably use uh, later in the evening, uh, includes uh, a fire pit uh, as well as a hot tub. And whilst you have know, got the, the kitchen area behind me here, uh, there's actually a bar area in the, in the other area of the garden can be used for you know, a, a few drinks uh, and to entertain in that space. The lighting work that's gone in really sets the tone and mood in the evening. So actually the, the garden comes to life across the day uh, from, you know, from having the sun drenched upon it to, to when the, the lighting takes over and the heating helps to keep you warm as, as the, uh, the, the nights start to draw in as well. I found the design process really enjoyable. You know, able to talk through the design ideas and, and make amendments ahead of getting into the de development work and groundworks that needed to happen to bring it to life. So when choosing uh, a company to help bring my ideas to life, I came across the Garden Design Company of one, one of the few providers in the area that offered that end-to-end -end solution. I definitely recommend the Garden Design Company to you know, my friends, family and, and anyone else that's looking for a team that uh, you know, consider it, uh, listen to what you're looking for and then are able to sort of take the burden and, and stress away uh, by managing a project end to end. I knew the reputation of the company was good in the first place because a lot of my friends, as I, one of my friends had used it. So. Um, and I've seen the work, so I knew straight away before that the company was top notch, it was a great reputation, it was creditable. But now being inside it and dealing with them, uh, yeah, I can vouch for that even more. I love hosting people around my house, and I feel like if you get in a good garden, that sort of, um, it's a place where everybody can come and just have a good time. And, and that's definitely the plan what I'm gonna do when it's finished in the summer being able to host nice parties, have good food, and, and yeah, that's a perfect night for me. So I told them everything I wanted, specifically, maybe just the, for example, an outdoor kitchen. We put all them together and then they go away and, and see how they can fit that into my perfect garden. And after a couple of weeks, they came back with an idea and I looked at it and I was like, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And for the first concept, it was a great starting point for something that I could see in my garden. And they had professionally set out a a nice little presentation for me to show me about everything. All the designs, all the procedures, pricings, everything was set out really, really well and they're, and they're very flexible. It, they want to make sure it's exactly how you want it. You want to see your garden, what it would look like. Uh, pictures are good, you know what you want, but the fact that they create a proper 3D plan of video of exactly what your garden's going to look like to the, all the measurements are the same, so it's, it's perfect. Um, that's what they created for me, an, a daytime version and a nighttime version so you could see it at night with the lights and at daytime when it was just chilling. What you see is what you get and, and that's what I'm hopefully going to be seeing in the garden in a couple of weeks when it's finished. Day by day I'm seeing it more and more come to life so it's exciting. I'm loving seeing the process as it goes along and then seeing the final product will, will be um, a, a good week. As a customer you want to make sure you've got the best possible work done and then the best treatment and I feel like I've had that both. So. Yeah, I'm really happy. So what was key for us was having someone who really got the concept, got the design, but most importantly, took care of the full project. So we found the garden company on Instagram. Um, we saw a couple of like amazing projects that they'd done before. We were really impressed with the fact that they just run end to end. Um, we're quite busy people, so we couldn't manage it to do a project as large as this on our own. It was great just to know we were in safe hands. Good to have um, a theoretical sketch on outlining it and various iterations. 
to make sure that we're in the right ballpark. So they came with like an initial idea of, you know, what works for the land. So the, the guys came out and had a look and said what they thought would work best. But I think it was great to be able to go into the office and we were looking at different materials um, and to really kind of understand the, the scope of what we could do. So yeah, really great process of not just the initial design and then it's job done, but design and how the design was becoming a reality throughout the project. I think lighting for me is a big thing. So it's nice that in the day it's beautiful in the sunshine. It's actually most beautiful at night. The way we did the lighting with the pool um, and then the chandeliers inside and um, the guys kind of worked with us on a lighting design um, which for me it just looks phenomenal. I think actually the blend of the stonework and the structure. Everyone comments on it when they they come here uh, in terms of the appearance of it. It almost feels like the, the whole piece has been here. It just seamlessly has fitted. Because we've had it finished now for a couple of months and I was saying to the team earlier, we've got a queue of people wanting to house it or wanting to visit. So um, honestly, it's, it's amazing for us to have something that we can host our family and friends and having the, the company kind of really support us on the journey and, and kind of deliver our dream. We would recommend them to, to anybody that's looking for a project that's managed end to end seamlessly um, and the results are phenomenal. It was a complete overhaul from scratch. So um, everything's been done, the levelling of the garden, the slabs that have been laid, the glass room, the patio, the pool has all been um, project managed and, and done by the actual garden design company. Right from the offset, the thing that I've liked about the garden design company was the care that everybody who I came into contact with uh, made from the people who sold me the initial idea through the design stage and then the actual execution from levelling of the garden itself, taking away all the old materials uh, and the ap application literally from the man who made sure every slab was in line, everything was in. And, they just kept everything clean and tidy throughout the whole process. And actually, um, the finished article exactly as I envisaged it when we started. It was just the care that they took uh, and they helped all the way through. They listened to what you say and they delivered what I actually wanted to the finished article. So the aftercare service itself, obviously after a period of time, you want to make sure that the garden looks as well as it was when it was completed. So what they're doing now, they're just coming along, making sure everything's clean bit of gardening, a bit of weeding, um, and making sure that it's kept in that good condition and it's how it was when they first completed their project. Um, obviously, throughout the year, you do your own maintenance as well, but, but you don't keep it to the same standard as they do. Um, they are a professional company, and you just want it kept in that condition. Um, at the end of the day, you've paid a lot of money to have the garden like this, and you want to keep it in that condition on an ongoing basis. It's exactly what we wanted. Uh, it's actually beyond what we wanted, what we thought we were going to get. Um, and it's just given us the areas that we wanted within the garden, made the garden much more usable, particularly with the nice summer we've just had. So we've spent a lot more time outside than we have done previously. Play area was really probably what started us thinking about what we wanted to do with the garden. Uh, we have three young granddaughters. We see them a fair amount of time now, and we wanted somewhere for them to be able to play that, that would be safe, that would be clean and tidy. They absolutely love it. They call it their play, their playground when they come round. <laughs> the little house that we have there has got all sorts of things in them for the play with as well. When we first moved here, this area was fundamentally full of trees and bushes, and we dug it all out, put down a patio and it's the area which gets the sun longest in the day. In the evenings, we would tend to sit down here. The sun goes around far around our side of the house. We've had parties here with the children, particularly when children's parties, when we've had quite a few children tearing around all over the place and things. Um, and now it's much more usable than it was before because of the area, because of the patio areas and things that we've got. So it's, it's you know, people like it. The whole process was very good. It was very efficient. There was no delays in the work. The thing that impressed me, which part of the reason why we wanted to use a company like this was they started the work and they remained here till they finished it. They were very tidy and clean and they were very good. Very, very competent, 
very professional. The, the team were very, very good. We were really pleased with It just been overgrown. I mean, there was all the, all the hedges overgrown. There was trees that had been cut down. The, the stumps were left at you know chest height. It was hazardous in places where the, we'd got broken slabs. We had decking which was rotten and falling to bits, um, which feared me with having a little one that she was going to fall through it and damage her legs. We had a couple of local people in. And I think the scale of the job scared them. They never came back. They, they sort of literally pulled up yeah. and they said all the right things. And they took all the measurements and they just never came back. Because you are always going to get hiccups along the way. And it's the way that they're managed, which I just thought was absolutely fantastic. The I like the experience of seeing it actually go in there. I wasn't really, it's not my scene to do things like that, but actually going to the office and sit in there and being able to tweak things and, you know, getting the advice, the professional advice of Jeff and his team was a really good experience. It's a garden that we use every area, whether it's playing games with our daughter outside, yeah. you know, or with the dogs. Having the outdoor kitchen is fantastic because it doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's sunny, we can be outside and we can be cooking. It's the knowledge and expertise, I would say. Yeah. It's the knowledge that you don't realise that you have to actually have in designing a garden, in landscaping. The key bit for me is after the event. If you look at this garden now, it's a year old, and it doesn't look like it. it's been for a winter, it's been for an autumn, it's easily maintained. Everything that Jeff said it would do, it's mm. delivered and it's a year down. They've used quality products that wear well. They delivered on what they promised, that the mm. garden wouldn't flood and it doesn't flood. No. I don't beach my car anymore, getting out the front. Nothing is too small yeah. that you can go, go back to and you get fast aftercare service. Somebody will be out and it's sorted. When you look at the magazines and websites, they all say that having the garden done doesn't necessarily add value to your property. But you, when you do actually look at it, it's what it actually, the garden actually does for you. So it creates space for you where you can actually enjoy your property more. It creates the wow factor that makes people potentially want to buy your property. But what it does create is an area where you can create more memories, which for me is one of the biggest investments. And then fundamentally, you pay for what you get. <laughs> yes, and it's amazing. Yep. So I came across Leicester Garden Design on Facebook, um, phoned the office, and spoke to them initially about coming out and giving us some ideas on our garden, how we could uh, change it. Um, Jeff came out to us just after Christmas um, and listened to what we wanted to um, do with the garden, uh, gave us some ideas, asked us what we'd like in the garden, um, came up with a sort of a wish list of things that would be nice. Two or three weeks later Jeff came back uh, or actually called us into the office um, with some plans um, of what he came up with his team, um, ideas for the garden, which um, were very exciting. Didn't really need to change very much of it at all from day one, um, which was good. We modified it very slightly, made the kitchen area a little bit bigger to include a barbecue. And then they started to work at uh, the beginning of March, so two months later. The team on the, the job today, um, who headed the team, was absolutely brilliant. Uh, wouldn't, recommend, wouldn't recommend him enough. His eye to detail, his attention to detail um, was great. He was likely working in his own garden, and he wanted us to be happy with the job. Um, the same with the rest of the team at Leicester Garden Design. At the end of the day, we got the garden that we wanted um, and I think you know we're very pleased with it and I would recommend Leicester Garden Design uh, to friends, family and anybody watching this clip and I wish them a success in the future. We were looking to replace our slabs in the back garden and um, weren't quite sure what we were going to be looking at in the first instance. Leicestershire Garden Design, um, we were very pleased with the way that they did their quoting system. Um, they actually came out on time. We didn't feel that we'd been messed about at all. It felt very professional. 
um, when they came out, it wasn't just, oh, um, this is what it's going to cost you. Um, they had a look, they were measuring, we looked at how many packs of tiles that we would actually need. Um, we were very pleased with how they came across. They did say to us, we aren't the cheapest, and, and they weren't the cheapest. Um, but we did feel that we were going to get a very good job with them, just a sense that we had from it. The team that they sent were, were wonderful. The two guys that actually worked on this project, my goodness, they worked hard. They didn't bother me at all. Um, I didn't get any knocking on doors um, for any cups of tea or anything like that. When I made a cup of tea, they were happy to have it, mind you. Um, but they worked from the minute they got here very early and they worked so hard all day. And I can actually say they are the best workmen that I've ever had on site. The base was redone. They didn't just take up our existing fire, uh, tiles and sandstone. They, they, did, they took them all up and they did a whole new base for it. They didn't just lay down what was already on there as a base. So we were just really pleased. They didn't stop in the day and they didn't bother me for um, coming inside the house for anything. It was very professional and they just worked so hard. I'd have them back again. And in fact, we're thinking of having some work done on the front. So I'd definitely have them back. I think we had a very good experience with them. Um, we uh, made contact with them through Facebook um, and Jeff uh, uh, came around to see us uh, for a preliminary meeting uh, and when they started uh, there was a massive amount of digging out uh, of soil uh, and uh, in very challenging conditions the team always seemed rather cheery. Uh, one of the um, things we did like was that uh, the first day that the team came to uh, commence work, they all actually came up and introduced themselves and shook hands with us, which I found was um, different to what a lot of companies do. Um, so we got to know the, the guys uh, quite well. They kept us informed in terms of what they were doing. Uh, and over, I say, a, a very wet winter period, they uh, managed to do their best to try and keep um, the areas around the doorways as clean and tidy as possible so that uh, as little dirt was coming into the house as possible. One or two things that we needed to change a little bit and again they um, were able to accommodate that uh, and to also very much at the end there was uh, an issue with some of the slabs provided by one of the uh, uh, suppliers of the, the patio area and um, Ross did a very good job in dealing with them and um, getting them to actually change all the uh, paving slabs and um, relaying the whole area again. So that was um, uh, quite impressive in terms of the way he handled the whole situation. One of the areas that was, was uh, rather good was that they gave us weekly updates via email in terms of what they'd done that week and uh, what their plans were. So we were always in the picture in terms of uh, where they were on the, on the whole project. So I think it was a professional organisation um, and you know, well organised, well planned uh, and well executed. It was my desire to make our garden uh, lower maintenance, so we called Jeff, he Randall, who came and sat in the garden for two and a half hours talking through what my thoughts were. And then um, that was a lovely experience actually. It was a beautiful sunny day and he just, we sat there, he drew some sketches and then Jeff left us and came back um, actually very quickly with the quote and things move forward really, really quickly. You were impressed with the surveyor, the amount, number of hours that he spent here. Yes. Um, Alan, yeah, Alan who came and spent a whole day in the garden and just measured every direction, heights, width, depth, and just took everything into account. My first exposure was to um, the plants, 
we went to head office to look at them. Amazing. Lynn then did some adapt well, we did some adaptations and other thoughts and whatever. Yeah. Which were done changed immediately, amazingly. I think as the project grew um, with our hands-on daily project manager, uh, one or two things we realised along the way weren't quite, quite right. Nothing major, um, but however that was just no problem at all to sort out any of our queries. And, and I must say, every single morning the project manager came and said, everything okay? Do you want to make any changes? And if we did want to make any changes, um, they were resolved immediately, basically. So this is the wonderful Brendan. Thank you, Brendan. If we're allowed to say, mention yeah. names, we're allowed to mention names. Brendan and his team of various people, yeah. Brendan was amazing. Nothing phased him. You would just talk to Bren about things and he'd say, well, here's a thought. You don't have to do it, but here's a thought, particularly regarding the um, trellising. That was, a, that was a whole new side and you wanted to look at the borders yes. and less planting and doing this and nothing was too much trouble mm. and so all in all a very wonderful result really. Good experience. So we, we would... Uh, we miss having them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was very good indeed so it's a very nice experience and we would uh, sincerely recommend it um, and for whatever tasks people have got. Ours happened to be a, a big credit complex one but mm. uh, and even with all that it was very successful. But we walk in now in November coming up December and we just love the garden and anybody who hasn't seen it throughout the project the wow factor is mm. incredible isn't it? seen it on a um, Facebook and um, looked into it and um, gave Jeff a call and uh, it came out and um, we sort of bounced some ideas, 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 ideas over to him as to what we wanted and, and then he, he, he said suggested. he suggested um, things that look better if they're in a different place and stuff like that and um, he went away and yeah, and he, did, he didn't rush, rush us on anything. He was really, you know, quite easy. If we suggested something, he'd look at it and maybe alter it slightly. But he took all our suggestions on board. Um, yeah, really pleased with what he, he came, well, he came back with a really beautiful garden. And then he went away, drew some plans up, um, gave us a call a couple of weeks later to go into the office and look at the uh, 3D um, on, the, on the computer screen. And um, when we went, we were just blown away um, by the actual design and um, more or less made our minds up there and then that um, that was what we were going to have. So. Yeah, he, he actually went around and showed us all the, the slabs they would be using, what they'd be putting on top of the bar. So we'd got a really good idea and as what it would look like, especially with the wood and that that yeah. we chose as well, that he came up with. Um, from, from a blank space, to come up with with the the design of the garden was just um, unbelievable. They, they 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 arrived here. They started. Everything was all prepared before they came. Their their equipment had arrived uh, the week before at the end of the week. So everything was here ready for them. So it was just a matter of them coming in, getting on with it. And like um, arriving at eight o'clock and not going till five, whatever the weather. You know they were faultless. Um, they cleaned up after them. They never left a mess, did they? No. No, they no, always made sure our driveway was clear for us to, to use what bit we could use, because obviously we'd got a lot of tools there and a lot of um, slabs and everything was that. But they, we, we knew materials. every day which was coming. They told us every day what would be coming the next day. And what they, would be delivered and what was being done. And um, yeah, we could talk about They also put down protective covering on the driveway, so we didn't actually um, have any damage on our driveway either. No, the, the cleanup was, was really good. Everything was spotless. They, they, they did an excellent job of making sure the garden, that we could have just invited people around that night to spend the night with us because it was just left perfect. Well, Jeff and his team. Yeah, we could thoroughly recommend uh, Leicester Garden Design for uh, the work that they've done on our, on our property anyway. And um, 
we have had one or two visitors that have come and um, really liked it. Um, so yeah, basically. Yeah, they're, they're, an, they're an excellent company to use. Um, could highly recommend them. Um, I don't think we could find a fault with them. Well, we contacted Leicestershire Garden Design. Uh, we were attracted to them first and foremost because we thought they seemed a very professional uh, organisation. Um, we've been in this house uh, approximately seven, eight months and we felt that uh, the garden was an extension of the house and we uh, thought we would get Leicestershire Garden Design in to see if they could um, redesign the garden for us. So Jeff and his team came up, uh, came over to see us and came up with a plan to uh, do this for us, which we both looked at, uh, studied and both agreed that we liked the idea. As each stage took place, from the groundwork to the um, brickwork and the laying of patios, etc., and we saw it all coming together, we were more and more pleased with what we were seeing. We were both very pleased, certainly, with the end result. I'd just like to say that Leicestershire Garden Design uh, were professional throughout, the team were professional throughout. I'd like to just make a special mention to uh, Jack and Jake, who did a lot of work for us on the groundwork. The end result is very pleasing indeed. Um, we've got a garden now that we feel is an outside extension of our home, and uh, we would recommend Leicestershire Garden Design to anybody. Uh, who was thinking of having the same type of thing done in the future. Well, Richard contacted um, Leicestershire Garden Design to start with and Jeff came round and had a chat with us and um, we liked him immediately and also we felt he really we worked quite hard to understand us and what we were looking to achieve yeah. and all of that kind of thing. And we never felt that uh, there wasn't a sort of honesty about what he was saying. We always felt that he was being very straight with us. Uh, he made the process very clear. We understood what was likely to happen. So we were, yeah, we were very impressed with him when he came, when he came And then we went and had a presentation. We liked what we saw and we were shown all the different materials that would be used on the garden. And we set a date. In fact, the date came forward in the end, didn't it? And we got started a bit sooner, which was even better. But from the minute they arrived here, everything happened as they said yeah. it would. We were very, very impressed. They arrived on the Monday they were going to start with a plan. Jay arrived on yeah. the doorstep and walked us through the plan, everything that was going to go on that day. I mean, on day one, for example, there were three changes of skip on day one but they happened like clockwork. And but, but the other side of that is they're very keen to make sure that the neighbours were happy because yes. obviously when you've got a lot of work going around and lots of skips going up and down a drive with lots of other people using that space, they were, trying, they were keen not to upset anybody so they talked to the neighbours a lot, they made sure that the neighbours were happy and they did that throughout the project. And they worked incredibly hard. Yeah. They seemed to communicate with each other and with people who weren't even on site. So if we needed to speak to Ross, who was at the office, within minutes the people who were on the site knew what was going on. And, you know, it was very, it, yeah. the communication was really effective. But even now, um, several months after the project is finished, we can still phone them up and say, well, actually, some of the plants that you put in aren't quite working out as they should be. This is something that you can do. And always somebody comes round, has a look, has a discussion about it, and they make a change if they need to. So we've had several of the plants taken out and replaced with new ones, even you know, when the actual creation of the, the garden is finished. I mean, we'd have no hesitation in recommending them. No, not them. at all. Yeah, I've yes. already recommended them to a few people. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people obviously knew we were having the garden done and um, because we're a little open to the road at the front, um, some of the, the neighbours were gawking the whole time, it was all going on. But several people observed how, you know, how lovely it looked after the work was done and asked who'd done it and things like that. So, I mean, we'd have no hesitation in recommending no, at all.
yeah, I couldn't be happier with what the Garden Design Company did for me. It's exactly how I imagined it, exactly how I wanted it. Everything was perfect down to the tea. Just brilliant, and I'm sure I'll have some, some great memories to share over the years in the garden. I think if you look around and you see the garden, it's everything that I probably would have dreamed of having as a young boy, you know, especially with the football pitch at the top. My love was always for football and obviously recently become a father as well uh, to my little boy. So having the garden here is everything that I would have wanted as a as a little boy myself and just that opportunity to go and play on an actual pitch into a proper goal. It sounds it sounds silly, but I used to have to use wooden wooden sticks as, as goalposts and stuff and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just a better opportunity for the little man in a few years' time, yeah. And Beach Eyes Garden at the stadium is such a such a beautiful thing. And you can walk around it and you just almost walk around in awe at some of the stuff. A few people at the club had mentioned that it was the company that did that. So when I was looking to get the garden done, my thoughts went straight to straight to the company. And listen, I'm, I couldn't be happier with, with the outcome and the end product and stuff. And to be honest, I knew that was the case. And from, from the start, from the conversations we had, it was all very clear that the company was brilliant and, and it, it was all done perfectly down to a T and yeah, it leaves me a very happy man. But when I seen the video, the like the, the flyover kind of uh, walkthrough, so I just thought, that like, how is it gonna end up looking like that? But credit to credit to everyone who, who worked on the job because it's turned out exactly like it and I love it. I'm a big family man as well. Uh, my family has a lot of friends and stuff and obviously I have a, te a lot of teammates who live in, in the area and stuff. So whenever there's kind of motive that can happen or if someone's birthday or something well I could host host a little a little birthday party or whatever and and it's kind of what I always wanted as a kid you know who doesn't dream of a swimming pool a football pitch a gym fire pit barbecue all in one you know so um gives good opportunity you can have good times with, with my family as I said and my friends and the best time we've probably had right was the opening group game of the Euros for England right so I had my friends around and we got good weather on the day so we could use the barbecue area. I looked around, I remember seeing like my friends were in the pool, a few of them were having a kick about and stuff and that and I thought that's exactly why I got it done, you know, so um, yeah, it was perfect. The whole process from start to finish was brilliant and I love my garden so much and I, I, I make that very clear, I've posted on Instagram. I get a lot of messages about my garden actually. I remember one of the times a few months ago now it, it actually snowed and the garden looked beautiful, the picture was covered in snow and I put a picture on my Instagram and I got so many so many nice, uh, nice comments and stuff. I even had a couple of other footballers from other teams uh, asking me who did my garden and stuff. Even just like the, the tiling and everything. So yeah, I, I love it so much. Everything I ever dreamed of as a kid, my son will hopefully love it as well when he's old enough to realise. But um, yeah, so happy. Our design process works in six parts. The first part is a decision by the client to go ahead and get the design. Once they've made that decision, we move on to part two, which is our survey. On the survey, we then go out and take all the measurements of the site and look at what's gonna fit best in that garden's own microclimate. The third part is a 2D design. That's a bird's eye view of your ideas and our ideas so that we can actually start to formulate what's gonna be the end result. The fourth part is our 3D visuals, and from the 3D visuals, we then can start to establish a full investment for the garden moving forward. The fifth part would be our final review, um, which would happen in our design studio, which we call a design reveal for our clients to come in and make any last minute changes that we need to to the design. And then from there, the the final part, sixth and final part, would be a project management visit where we actually build the schedule for the team to go ahead and build the garden. Um, so you're not held to us to proceed with the construction. Um, is there as an option if you do want us to do the build for your project? From the Garden Design Company, we do offer both design and build services. So if you did want a design only, we can do that.
I think that would mainly depend on the, the client themselves and whether they've got family commitments or any other time of the year they want it done for. For example, we do a lot of entertaining gardens where they might have a party, so they want it done for a certain period of time. But from our point of view, we build gardens all throughout the year. It's hard to tell you how much your garden will be without seeing the project or not knowing the design um, and that's why we we'll work really closely with you. Um, when you have your garden survey we'll have all the technical information that we'll need and we'll start to produce a concept. On that initial meeting we'll give you a very rough feasibility so you have a bit of an indication of how much your garden will be. Um, at that point you can develop the design um, or you can scale it back so it suits your budget. The whole point of the design it is a continuous process rather than it just being one design. So we'll build it throughout with you, making sure that each and every step you, you're involved. So making sure that you do like it. Um, so to begin with, we start with a 2D concept with kind of mood boards to see what you like and dislike before we progress it into a full 3D drawing to make sure that you are 100% happy with the, the layout and the way we are taking the design. If you're having a renovation project, then I would recommend um, booking in advance um, and it might be quite nice to tie in um, having the garden built when your project is in construction because it saves you having the dig out and preparation and the skip um, all on, on the front at the same time. Um, but it all depends really when's best for you. Clients come to us for a number of reasons that they're going to get their garden designed and built. Um, our guarantee to the client is that they will get the feeling that they wanted at the beginning. So if they're looking for more happiness or looking for more peace or tranquility or excitement or entertainment, our guarantee really is that you will get that once the garden's built. Now there's the practical side of it, which is the workmanship guarantee. We've got a, a fully functioning 24-7 you know, maintenance guy that will go out and, and look after the garden. If there's any problems that you have with your garden, you call into the office. There's a really nice process of booking, booking in any snagging, as it were, and uh, we'll come out and fix that real, real quick for people. But the guarantee really is that you're going to be, if you want to be happy, you'll be happy. If it is over budget, you'll have a couple of options. Um, you'll be able to have design only, so you can um, have no limitations on the design. Um, and you'll have a wow design um, that you can take to other contractors or to do yourself. Um, alternatively, if you do want us to do the construction, then we can um, see where we can scale it back and um, prioritise what is a must in the garden. Our availability all depends. Um, it, we are signing jobs up um, throughout the year, um, but when you have your telephone call with myself, I'll be able to advise you best on our, our next availability. One of the questions that we get asked a lot is when is the best time for our garden to be transformed? I don't actually think there is a best time. Um, if I'm taking a personal view of this, it would be in the winter because I'm not using the garden as much as I am in the summer. So I think most of our proactive clients would pick the winter months to have their garden built, knowing that it would be ready for the spring and the summer. Um, so I'd say personally the best time of the year to get the garden built is in the winter, but I really don't think there's a best time to have a garden transformed. Yeah, absolutely. We can offer aftercare. So once we've finished the, the project, we do a full clean down to make sure it's absolutely spotless. But then if you did want us to, to come every year or so to, to do things like jet washing, um, pruning, anything like that, we can offer that. 